Good afternoon, everybody. It's Michelle Marie Tony, and I'm feeling a lot better than I was during the major of the heat wave. Right now, it's still 27 degrees, so it's still a little on the hot side. However, according to the National Weather Service, actually, it's 28. It's 28, right? Okay. Uh, it said that we're going to be having, uh, for a few days anyway, cold weather so we can do things now i've been putting a few videos up on youtube for a year lately so if you've been keeping an eye on the videos you saw the the newest one about the Iverly and Dudley pharmacy building that's for sale and i'm going to make sure we want to make sure highly explain a few things since that was obviously the key piece of that video one of the problems we've run into in the past with the videos naming is that sometimes they uh the names are kind of uh, for our sake, finding things, you know, th things, names like vlog, year, month, and day, may make it easy for us to index, index the video. Unfortunately, it kind of doesn't really tell us what the video is about. So, for that video, what we did was, since... It turned out that Iverly and Dudley and Cohen Realty turned out to be pretty much the main topic of that video. That's why it was called Whatever Happened to Iverly and Dudley Hermacy uh, was because that's what the video was about, mostly. Not entirely, but uh, pretty much. Um, if I was to do a video yesterday, it would be It's How to Be Sick as a Dog. That's... Um, when it really felt awful physically and so I didn't really have the energy or the stamina to really do anything not even housework well not saying that we're totally off the hook here but at least I was able to get a video in to the studio like I promised you some time ago okay even if it's right now it's kind of the peak of the day but you know, at least the sun's shining, and uh, I can. It's not so humid, and it is a little cooler, so I was able to get outside and focus on some videos. Um, anyway, me and Lomi have been busy doing our own thing between delirium. <laughs> delirium. <laughs> um, we, um, I have been feeling really when I was just I was sick I had some cramps I was getting nauseous I was getting delirious I was drinking water but I wasn't drinking enough to help stave off heat exhaustion even though I was just pretty much doing nothing um so I um pretty much just laid low I didn't even eat much food lately and it was bitching at me it was like when are you gonna go to get some food? When are you gonna go get some food from the food truck? We need food. We need food. I was like, excuse me. I said, um, Ed, it is 30, uh, 30 degrees out there right now. Nobody in their right mind is gonna go running to a food truck to get food in the hot, naked sun of the day. And get sick as a dog, possibly suffer from thermal collapse. Nah, -uh. <laughs> no, thank you. Which I think was a good choice because I did stay out of trouble that way. If I had been standing in line for a half hour waiting to get to the groceries, I think that would have probably been just a little bit too much to do. Now, um, of course, as we go through the summer, is is soon will be coming to an end after Mabin. Will you start, please, Mr. Stewart and Mabin, please, you know, have some mercy on us, okay? I mean, I hope that they're not going to continue on this horrendous, horrible heat wave again in Mabin because I really would really, really rather not see that. But that's, again, like I tried to explain to one person, is I don't have the legal right to mess up another steward's weather pattern. Uh, so, of course, there is exceptions, but those exceptions are pretty specific. And uh, right now, this doesn't 
quite apply to here. Incidentally, speaking of other things that are not playing here, I have not heard any more from T-Mobile about getting, of the refarming of 1900 megahertz in this area to allow us to use our iPhone 3GS in 3G. Um, I know definitely, I looked at the maps and it shows it's not set for 3G yet, which is kind of sucking because for me to put videos on YouTube means that if I'm at the soup kitchen doing my vlogs, I have to actually run home, upload it through my Wi-Fi connection, and then come back to the soup kitchen for lunch again. And like me and Lemmy were talking about one of the other uh, vlogs was, is what about putting Wi-Fi in the soup kitchen? And I explained in the last one, which was also on what happened to Everly Diddley Pharmacy, is it is doable, but um, um, there is a, an issue about line of sight um, for the signal. And I explained a couple of the video before that, and maybe the one before that, I explained that other problems that you would run into it has to be the issue of cost and also. The Soup Kitchen's Board of Directors can be very um, problematic um, right now. By the way, if you're wondering why I don't have the ceiling lights on, I forgot to turn them on. Oops, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. It's hot as hell. You're not gonna, just turning at throwing more heat at the problem isn't going to help. So, you know, you see me in my best and my worst. I think you could take this. Oh, by the way, speaking of the best and the worst, you probably noticed that why do I take my, my eyeglasses off when I'm take when I'm doing vlogs? And the reason is is because I'm very self conscious about eyeglasses, and so I take them off so that uh, you can see my um, you know my eyeglasses. I'm just it's always been that way since I was a little kid. So you know, please don't think I necessarily want to go wrong as blind as a bat and smacking and everything in sight. That's not it. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like wearing glasses on video or photographs that matter either. So, um, I used to have contact lenses a couple of years ago. When I was in high school, maybe I might conceive if I'm still eligible to get contact lenses now as an adult. I mean, my prescriptions may have changed enough now where I glad or contact lenses may not be such an option anymore. We'll have to find that out. Um, but that's something else. You know. Anyway, uh, Lumi has to do her video too. Yeah, I gotta do mine. And, uh, what are you gonna talk about? I don't really know yet. Um, maybe I'll just quietly rant and rave. <laughs> Rant and rave. Rant and rave. I don't know. We'll figure out when we get to my channel. Oh, by the way, please check out my channel. It is free. And if for your convenience it has a tiny URL, it's http colon forward slash forward slash www.tinyurl.com forward slash Lumi Finistra. L U M I. F I N I S T R A. That brings you right to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And also, we would like you to watch more of my videos too. So, obviously, if you like and subscribe, you always will be kept abreast of any changes and events going on on um, both me and Michelle's channel. And of course, if you're watching this through another means and you don't know how to get to my channel it's so easy it's not quite as short as Lemmy's but I suppose I could put a tiny URL for it although it's really counterproductive in this case it's <coughs> excuse me http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash b-i-c-h-e-l-a-4 and turn and I'll get you to my channel again like let me like and subscribe to it and you will always be kept abreast of any new changes events and things like that yep you know, and that's a good way to do it Michelle because I think you know people need to be kept abreast um 
And um, I also, of course, am very happy to know that you're feeling better than you were yesterday. You looked like shit yesterday. <laughs> Uh, honey, I hate to see you look like shit too. <laughs> That's true. Very true. We both looked like shit. We both felt like shit. Um, okay, anyway, I'm sure a lot of people did, especially those people in down in Long Island in New York area, definitely felt like shit. Um, and went to his concert on Thursday, and he told me that it was extremely hot and very unbearably hot. Sticky, and a lot of people were getting physically sick from the heat. Yeah, exactly. And that is what was happening to us and, of course, to many other people. Make sure to drink plenty of water. That's right. No Diet Colas, or at least if you're going to drink Diet Cola, make sure to drink more plain, clean water in between. Also, check your urine. If it's clear, have no fear. If it's yellow, it's time to talk to a doctor about it and drink more water. Definitely. And uh, if you start to feel shortness of breath and, uh, or you stop sweating, you definitely should want to call Call, consider calling a doctor or an ambulance because uh, you could be, be beginning of heat stroke, which is very serious. It is a killer. In fact, there's been over s almost 700 deaths because of heat stroke alone in the UK in the last week. Yes, there has been. And that's that kind of interests me. A country that had a heat throw had a high of 31.3 degrees Celsius. Broke a record, broke a record, um, and you would think that somebody in the UK would have something thought of that heat issue. Well, they see the UK a little bit more of a cool area. It's British Isles. It's not really surrounded by heat as much as uh, some countries are, and yet um, they not really don't really have much um, in a form of. Um, Infrastructure of heat management. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll see you on your channel. You'll see me on my channel. And also, I also need to consider getting some more vlogs out there too in the future, Michelle. Because I know you do a lot of vlogging. I haven't done any, really. But I think it's getting time for me to get ready to do some vlogging too. Yeah. Well, with the temperatures coming down, maybe we can both get some more vlogs in. And, um, yeah, hopefully. So, you want to see this together? Yeah. Don't forget to like and share. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.